Do you remember Dan Price? He's the CEO who took a big pay cut to give his employees a $70,000 per year salary. That would be the minimum wage at that company. Uh, it's four months since he made that decision and put it into practice. How's it working out? Gravity Payments is the name of the company. Dan Price is the CEO. He's the guy who did the $70,000 deal, and he joins us now from Seattle. Dan, welcome back. Good to have you on the show again. Thanks, Stuart. How's everyone doing there in the studio? Oh, we're doing remarkably well, surprisingly enough. Now, look, <laughs> you, you, you've run into some trouble. There are a couple of former employees who say that they're not kind of happy with the income distribution within your company. We hear that you may have lost a little business and that you're cash strapped. You had to put your house up for rent. Now, I don't, I don't want to go into individual uh, statements about what's happened to your company, but it's not working out that well, is it? You know, I would actually disagree with that. Um, it's true that we've had to make some really serious sacrifices and that I myself have had to buckle down, but I think it's been 100% worth it. There have been people whose lives were changed way more than I would have ever expected. And actually the living conditions of the people working for me that were making $40,000 a year, even somebody like uh, somebody that works at Gravity Hunter who canceled all of his plans on a Friday to ho go help an independent business uh, because their point of sale system was having trouble. Hunter's a really smart guy and he, he was able to now live a normal life close to where we okay. are. And to me, it's worth it. Okay, well, now, what about those managers, more senior people, who are yeah. saying, wait a minute, the, the guys who work for me, they've got their income almost doubled. What about right. me? Um, I'm still doing the same work as I was. I'm still managing the place. I'm still making money for you. But these guys have got an almost a double. That's not fair. That's fundamentally not fair. How would you address that? No, I agree with it. And I think it's a great challenge for us as a company. How do we invest in those managers, in those supervisors, and in people that will elevate to that level so that they can get their pay up even more, you know, and, and create a little bit more of, of what they seek in that advancement? We all agree there should be some type of floor, at least most people do. It's a question of where should that floor be? I think it should be wherever you need to live a normal life. And then we all agree that we want people to succeed and go way beyond that as quickly as they can. Do you think you have to make some changes? I mean, are you going to keep it at $70,000 minimum or can you drop it a little bit to keep everybody happy and stay in business? You know, we don't have any plans to drop it and uh, I'm committed to the $70,000 because there are so many reasons why that feels right. Um, there's a woman, Nadellis, that works at Gravity and she's actually originally from Puerto Rico. But her goal was to get her student loans paid off, get into a great company. She was really happy. And then she wanted her mom to be able to come and see her. And because of the change, her mom's going to come see her in a month. And, you know, we've, we've made this promise. We can do it. But we have to pull together. What the outside world looks at is strictly just the numbers, just our finances. But for us as a team, we look at the structural integrity of the company. How are we serving our clients? And in that area, I honestly believe we're stronger than we've ever been. Dan, let me ask you this question. This is Ashley Webster. The, the complaint that I read the most was that the rank and file are seeing their salaries basically double, while those right. in more management positions are seeing a slight bump. And they resent it because they're the ones carrying more responsibility, and yet their wages are almost negligible when compared with the rest of the company employees. Uh, one of these apparently uh, employees complained and was told they were being selfish. Do you think they're being selfish, the management employees who believe they should be paid f commensurate with what their duties are? Absolutely not. And I actually think that our management team is, is really phenomenal, and I think their approach is phenomenal. But I do think that it puts more of an onus on us when you have these different tensions to invest in those people and help elevate themselves. And to me, getting that minimum in place, there's accountability for us as a company to invest in those managers and supervisors where they can produce more and then uh, they, can, they can succeed the way they want to. But then you've almost turned your company into a charity. I mean, your heart is with your lower paid people and you've got your higher paid people complaining that it's not fair and you have almost turned it into a charity. Can you make, can you stay in business at a very good profit level in the years ahead? 
Well, we're going to see. Uh, and I'm excited to see. That's a, and I'll that's tell a you, lot of jeopardy, the, Dan. I mean, if, you, if you, all you've got to say is, we're going to see, you know, uh, <laughs> that's, that's not going to go down well with the people who are in your company. Because if your pay raise for the average worker is so big, you now have to tell me that we'll see whether we stay in business profitably. You know, you're taking an enormous risk on the part of everybody in your company. Our goal as a company is to make credit card processing fair for businesses. And it's been so unfair for so long, businesses just get taken advantage of left and right. And so we're all focused on that one thing. And the profits have come kind of accidentally from that because we really love independent businesses. We want to serve them. We also want to provide a great opportunity for everyone that works at Gravity to have their life enhanced by working there. And so, yeah, that, those are the really important things that I'm focused on. And the profits have always come as a result. So I think it's really important to remember this. Making a profit is a really important part of being in business. It's not the only thing that's important and that's part of what I'm trying to say. All right and we hear you. Dan Price thank you very much for coming back to us. Come on back again we'd like a progress report and see how you're doing. We appreciate you being here. Sounds great thanks. All right Dan thanks.